Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw inside from Fortnite. If you're new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm going to draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, Sharpie, or crayon. So I'm going to start with drawing her eyes with a circle right there, and another circle surrounding that. At the side of the circle on the right, I'm gonna draw a circular shape surrounding that corner. On the right side of that, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there. I'm gonna copy the same shape of the eye on the right side right here. From the upper corner of the rectangular shape in the middle, I'm gonna draw a curve line up, turn it sideways to the left and downwards. On the left side of the eye, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner right there. And below that, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards, turn it diagonally in and across at the lower points right there. And same is gonna turn back up to the middle point below the rectangular shape. I'm going to copy the same shape on the right side right here without the, without the rectangular shape at the lower corner at the outer point. Now above the rectangular shape in the middle, I'm going to draw a line up on both sides from the side of that line I'm gonna draw a line out at this bottom point turn it upwards and across in the middle point right there copy the same shape on the right side and a line across at the top point in the middle right here at the upper point I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape on both the left and right. Now for her hoodie, I'm gonna take a point above in the middle and draw a curve line across. And from the sides, I'm gonna make a diagonal curve line to the side. Same as a good turn at that corner downwards and flare it out at the bottom right there. Turn it back in. And we're going to do a similar shape on the left side as well. Below the eye, I'm going to draw across a curve line from the left side here, diagonally to the center, semi turn at that middle point and turn it back slightly down at the side on the right. And I'm just gonna quickly thicken the line of the eye for the circle in the middle right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side as well. Now below the mouthpiece, I'm gonna draw a similar line across at this point. And at the side on the right, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line inwards across. And I'm gonna trace the same line at this lower point right here. And at the inner corner right there, I'm gonna draw a line down, a line across at the top section and mirror that at the lower section right there, an oval shape at this inner point and 
curve line at that corner. For the lower half of her face, I'm gonna draw a curve line down from this left side diagonally in towards the chin in the middle across with a semi circuit turn turn it back up on the right side below that I'm gonna draw a curve line surrounding the bottom part of the face right there and I'm gonna fill the gap between that line with black color now for the outer line of her hoodie I'm gonna take this point at the side and draw a curve line upwards diagonal turn at that corner to the tip of her hoodie above semi circuit turn at the tip to the right and a similar shape on the right side of the hoodie right there flare it out at the bottom point turn it downwards and circle around the lower half of her face Below her head, I'm gonna draw a curve line on the right side here downwards, circle around the lower part of the face right there, all the way to the right side at that point. And for this point, I'm gonna extend this line circling the lower part of the face as well, turn it upwards at that corner, and a curve line diagonally at this point in the middle below the head on the right side I'm gonna draw a curve line there and another one below that at that point I'm gonna make a turn diagonally to the left and stop there on the left side a curve line down and a line across on the left side from from the ending point of that line I'm gonna draw a diagonal line to the right and downwards for the strap and another similar line at this lower point right here at this upper point I'm gonna draw a line across and another one below that another set of line at this corner a line below that and on the right side a diagonal line in a line across diagonal line back out and inside of that I'm gonna draw rectangular shape and a mirror rectangular shape on the other side a line below that and another line below that strap I'm gonna continue the diagonal line from the right side crossing to the left and I'm gonna draw some zigzag line at this corner all the way to the side of her arm and at that point I'm gonna make a turn upwards turn it outwards and back in and up to the side of her shoulder semi circuit turn back to the side of the strap and on the right side a line out to the shoulder and a shoulder pad with a diagonal line at this corner turn it downwards diagonally outwards and sideways to the right at that corner turn it back up at the outer point right there in a rectangular shape at that corner continue the line of the shoulder pad upwards diagonal turn up and out 
a semicircle turn across at that point and a few rectangular shape at that at the side of the shoulder pad right there continue the line of the curve line upwards and a semicircle line at that corner back to that point I'm going to trace the line of the shoulder pad at this side all the way to the lower point and out right there and at this corner I'm gonna draw a line upwards to the side and another one at that point at this point I'm gonna draw a line down and another line down on the right side a circular shape at this corner and another one below that on the right side of the strap here I'm gonna draw a line down and above it another line upwards towards the side of the shoulder pad continue that up to the scarf now for her belt I'm gonna take this point in the middle and draw a rectangular shape right there a similar line inside of that at this upper point below that I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape another one inside of that diagonal line from the lower corner crisscrossing right there and at the side on the right I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape and at the middle point a long one right there a line from the sides outwards and some lines across in the middle right there and from the side I'm gonna draw two rectangular shape right there and another one above it and a smaller one at the bottom point I'm gonna copy the whole shape on the left side as well above the belt on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line upwards and in the middle point of the outfit I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards from the scarf and another one beside that and on both sides I'm gonna draw another line downwards and at, at the side here I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and a line at the upper point and same on the left side right here Below the scarf on the right here, I'm gonna draw two lines down and below that a line across, diagonal, turn to the left and down, semicircle turn at that corner, turn it downwards and from the right side turn it downwards, turn it sideways to the left at the bottom point. In that space, I'm gonna draw a line across and another one below that. Below that shape, I'm gonna draw two lines down right there. And across at the side here, I'm gonna draw lines at the side, diagonal line at this corner, turn it downwards. Copy the same shape on the left side right there. Now below the belt, I'm gonna draw a curve line coming down from the sides flare it out right there 
and turn it back in towards the knee pad and below the first belt I'm going to draw another belt with a rectangular shape in the middle point for the buckle leave a gap at the sides right there and from the inner point at the side a line down sideways at the top point at the lower point and a rectangular shape at that side continue the line of the belt on the right side I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side as well Below that, I'm going to draw across a curved line. Below the buckle, I'm going to draw a line down off center to the curved line across in the lower point right there. And below that, off center again, I'm going to draw a curved line downwards for the inner line of her pants. A curved line at the side of the knee right there. And below that, I'm going to make a diagonal turn outwards, turn it back in and down, and a curved line at the side. And for the knee pad, I'm going to draw across a curved line at that point, diagonal turn at the sides, turn it down slightly to the center, and across at the lower point. On the other point of the leg, I'm going to draw a curved line downwards, few curve line at the lower point and across the curve line for the top of the boots for the knee pad I'm gonna trace the same line again at this inner section right there and on the left side we're gonna draw a similar shape but at this upper section at the thigh I'm gonna draw a strap so I'm going to draw a curve line at the side here and at the other side as well and across for the top of the strap a line down on both sides curve line again for the lower point of the strap and I'm going to copy the same shape again for the other strap at that point Continue the line of the pants, copy the same shape as the right side. Now at the side of the strap, on the left, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape right there. And for her boots, I'm going to take this middle point and draw a circular shape. A teardrop shape drooping at the side and another one inside of that. Copy the same shape for the other side right there. And below that, I'm going to draw some crisscross line at the middle section all the way downwards and a curved line below that and another one and a circular shape at the at the side 
with the side of the boots above I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards turn it inwards and we're gonna do the same thing for the outer point right there and below that I'm gonna draw a curve line for the lines of the boots all the way to the ankle turn it inwards towards the ankle curve line at the side Continue the line of the boots downwards and flare it out slightly. Semicircle turn at the lower point. And we're gonna do the same thing for the outer corner right there. And align across at the bottom point. Align down on both sides and align across at the bottom point. In that space, along the base of the shoe, I'm gonna draw some rectangular shape right there and we're gonna do the similar shape for the left leg now I'm gonna draw the patterns on her thigh with a curved line diagonally in and turn it steeper at this point and I'm gonna copy the same shape on the right side right there and another one and I'm gonna copy the whole thing on the left thigh as well Now for her arms, I'm going to draw a curve line down below the shoulder pad for the outer line and a similar line for the inner line of the arm. Above the elbow point, I'm going to flare it out and turn it back in towards the wrist. And we're going to do the same thing for the outer line and slightly above the wrist, I'm going to flare it out slightly and train it back in curve line across below that and align down on both sides and a curve line across at the lower point align down on both sides and on the left side I'm gonna make a diagonal turn out turn it downwards and a semicircle turn at the tip of the thumb back up curve line diagonally down and turn it straight down all the way to the tip of the finger and semicircle turn back up and we're gonna copy the same shape for the other fingers on the right side right there and at the side of the hand I'm gonna extend it all the way back to the wrist above her knuckle I'm gonna draw an oval shape right there and a curve line up sharp turn back down to that same point I'm gonna copy the same shape for the other fingers on the right and a rectangular shape at that corner for the patterns on her arm I'm gonna draw a line down turn it to the left and down to the right downwards a diagonal line to the left and down turn it back to the right diagonally and turn it downwards I'm gonna trace the same line at this outer corner back up towards the shoulder pad so I'm gonna copy the whole arm shape on the left side as well And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.